Hi everyone, welcome back. This is it. You see the thumbnail. That's right. We're going to talk about how Ethereum can get to a million dollars a piece. That's a price target that if they don't change anything, that is where I believe Ethereum could get to. It's not going to happen overnight, folks. It's not even going to happen in the next 10 years. But I will say this, if you're trying to create generational wealth and you're thinking, how can I turn a few coins into millions down the road for my great, great grandkids or my grandkids or my great grandkids? Watch this video because I'm going to show you what's going to happen. How, because of the changes made to the Ethereum blockchain and the system, the burning and everything else, and of course the utility growing, that Ethereum has a chance to actually get to a million dollars a piece. Oh man, if that sounds good to you, stick around because I think you're going to like what I got for you. Now, before we get into it, make sure you take advantage down below for the moo moo. Let me get up to 15 free stocks. And of course, they got the earnings season, everything's here. Uh, all you got to do is put $100 or more in and you'll get five free stocks worth up to $2,000 a piece. Put a grand in, you'll get those 15 free stocks. And of course, if you haven't done it, take advantage of the Weeble. Any deposit using my link down below, a penny, a dollar, you get up to 12 free stocks worth up to $30,600. Take advantage of both of them. Come on over and join me at the Patreon. See what crypto I am throwing in there to try to make generational wealth. I'm not chasing the crumbs. I want the whole loaf. You guys know the story. It is all about that. Let me know in the comments, what crypto is your biggest holding? Mine is Ethereum. I'm looking into some other ones. I'm thinking about getting into Avalanche. Anybody out there into that, let me know down below. And of course, I love some of those retail plays because when it, when crypto starts to blow up, they go through the roof. So I'm watching a lot of these. Now, the big thing is people always say, how are you going to come out here and tell us that Ethereum could get to $1 million a piece. My, my Ethereum price prediction, I'll say it again, for the end of 2025 is $10,000 to $30,000 range, depending on regulations and everything else. But I thought minimum with the next having a Bitcoin, all the next bull cycle and the utility and all the good things we're seeing, especially with these upgrades, I believe Ethereum hits $10,000 a piece. Today, you'll see exactly why, but I'm also going to go over how Ethereum actually could get all the way up to a million dollars a piece. This is no joke. I'm actually going to show you the numbers behind it. And once you see it, you'll say, okay, that makes sense. Of course, there's a little bit of time that goes into that. And we're going to talk about it. First things first, take a look at what Kathy Wood said. We're going to start with this because as Kathy Wood came out and said, oh, look, 7,000% upside, $20 trillion market cap by 2030 for Ethereum. Everybody thought, no way. And you can see right here at that target, Ether would be priced at 170 to 180,000 a piece. Listen, folks, I don't think she's out there on a limb. I think it's actually possible. I got to tell you, people always say, you know, where do you see these things? Every year, every year, we're going to see some massive changes in Ethereum because of what happened over the last 12 months. And people do not realize how big this is. My friends, once September 15th hit, it changed destiny for Ethereum. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up September 15th. It was a, the, the merge. We all know the merge, right? Well, here's the good news. Let me show you some numbers on this. And this is it. Take a look at what we got here. This was the e, this is the Ethereum supply. Folks, this keeps track of it. This tells us how many Ethereum are being put into circulation. You see what's happening before the merge? It's going up. How much? Well, there's 1.9, then you're 1.2 in just a matter of weeks. That's not good because you're flooding the market. What happens when you flood the market with any good or any service? The price drops on that good or service, right? Uh-oh, what happened to ETH 2.0, the merge right there, September 15th, one point, we got 120 million point five two. So 120 million, 520,000 by the end. And that was September 15th. We get to right before April 12th, 120 million, 440,000. So we lost, uh, and that remember how bad it was. We lost uh, 80,000, 80,000 Ethereum burned over that time. So the supply during one of the, and understand this, we're going to get back to this, the supply during one of the worst times for Ethereum, I'm talking for crypto, we got the winner, prices collapsed, it was ugly, it was the worst that anybody can experience, we've been through it before, 
but it's crypto winter. Everybody's attacking it. The prices are dropping. The Fed's raising rates. Uh, risky assets are under attack. And what happens? Ethereum, as you can see here, continues to drop their overall supply. But look what happened after April 12th. What was April 12th, Mo? Well, that was the big one. That's when we start to unstake. We can unstake our stuff. They have the upgrade. And look what happens with everybody burning, doing what they need to do. We just burned over a million, over a million. It's actually almost 1.1 1 million, uh, 1 million 400,000 crypto uh, Ethereum burned. So look at this drop and how many Ethereum are out there. Folks, that's not, you're not reading this wrong. It's not like it's going to come back up like a stock chart. They're burned. They're gone. All right. And you can see it's already been dropping. The more people move Ethereum around, the more they're buying and selling, the more that are they're gone. So the liquidity is picking up. More people are buying and selling because now they can get access to it. And that creates less and less Ethereum. We burned over about 1 million say 500,000. Let's just make this easy for mathematical purposes. By the end of this year, we will have burned over 1% of all Ethereum and it continues to drop. At this rate, man, this is this is crazy right here. I can't believe no one's talking about it. We burned over a million Ethereum in a matter of, uh, well, eight days. You go, well, I'll go to the 12th, 120. We go to the 20th, 119. We burned a million and 400,000 Ethereum in eight days. Folks, that's almost 1% of all Ethereum now gone. And so when people look at this and they're trying to figure out how could we get to a million dollar price target, Mo? Well, first things first, I don't expect it to happen overnight, but if I get rid of, uh, just say, this continues to burn, a million uh, a year, I will say 1% a year, uh, like one to two million a year burn, which we have easily proved that that can happen. We've done that already. This will continue to be the effect. And then you're going to see this go from 119 to 118, 117, and it's going to continue to drop. As this chart goes out five, 10 years, you're going to see it drop. It's going to continue to drop. The more utility that comes in, the more usage and once we start to get a lot of different things out there, including ETFs that are physically holding it, all these things around the world, and we get clarity on regulations and everybody can invest and everybody's making an active part of their portfolios, buying and selling, Ethereum's going to have less and less and less in total supply to the point that every year we will have less than we did the year before. That's, now how long does that take, Mo? Well, look, that, in itself is the good news. One, it's deflationary. Some people are calling for one to 2% annually. That's an annual rate once everything's normalized. Going forward, one to 2% every year, gone. And if that happens, if that happens, even at 1%, that's right, you're burning down a ton. What's gonna happen in 50 to 100 years when there's hardly any left? That's right, the volume, continue, not the volume, but the price continues to spike on what's left and they're, and they're doing littler pieces of it. And you might say, ah, it doesn't make sense. Well, think about it in this way. Go back in time to the 1920s. If I gave you a dollar to go to the movie theater, how much did it cost you? It cost you a nickel. You'd go in, go to the movies, give them a nickel. Maybe a nickel for a soda. And that was it, right? Right. If I told you in the future that that nickel, now the, the power of buying with that nickel would be a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. You wouldn't believe it. There's no way I'm gonna get a hundred, you know, a hundred percent to go to the movies for a, a five dollars to go to the movies. It's only a nickel today. There's no way. A hundred years later in 2020, there you go. We know that it is what around 2023. It's about five, ten bucks to go to the movies when it used to be a nickel to a quarter back then. Put that together and think about Ethereum moving forward. We have inflation, we have deflate inflation in prices, deflation. And the value in thinking about this in the overall supply of how many Ethereum there are. It continues to have less and less. So eventually we'll get under 100 million Ethereum. And you're going to think about this video and be like, man, I remember Mo talking about this. And it could be 5, 10 years when that happens. Could be 15 to 20 years. But we will get under 100 million Ethereum. 
And then you're going to say, man, how many Ethereum did we burn when he brought that up? 20 million. So in another whatever time frame it could be, we'll burn through another 20 million because it's deflationary. That's the way it's set up to burn. Every time somebody does something, they burn some of the gas. And we know what's happening. Overall, and you got to stay with me on this, uh, it takes a long time for Ethereum to get there. And I'm going to pull up my next thing. Uh, you can see I got the chart here, how many Ethereum were burned. So far, we got 3 million Ethereum burned. And burned in the last hour, 208.16. You can see Ethereum. We had some Ethereum burn here. Normally, you can see how it's burning normally, uh, 2,900 a day, two to 3,000 a day. And it's been trending up. We had a big pop. So you could see some of these. But my question to you is, at a million dollars a piece, right? I'm putting it right in the calculator. And you can see Ethereum right now is around 1850. All right, we're going to make the numbers easier on me. We divide that out. What do you get? Well, you get 540. In other words, Ethereum would have to go a multiple of 540 to ever get to a million dollars a piece. Oh, Mo, there's no way Ethereum's going to go up 540. No, times the current price. Absolutely not today. But if nothing changes, if nothing changes and they keep burning Ethereum, a million Ethereum in the last eight days, say they burn like 2 million Ethereum a day or a year, a year, every year they burn 2 million Ethereum from here on out. How many years does it take before we're down to under, uh, we're down to a couple hundred thousand Ethereum. Well, we have a hundred and what's the overall supply right now? Uh, we have 119. Divide that by 2 million a year. You're looking at around 60, 60 years. 60 years from today, we'll be under a million Ethereum based on how quick if we're burning 2 million Ethereum every year. Now, I don't expect that to happen. I'm not here saying, guys, look, it's going to get to a million dollars a piece. I'm showing you how it could get to a million dollars a piece. So you can see the overall supply, 1.19 divided by 2 million Ethereum gone, you get 60. So once you get to 60, 60 years out, we could be under a million, depending on how this all works out. What happens if it blows up? That's a whole different ball game. But just to show you that, now we pull up the other calculator. What's the other calculator? Well, first things first, I said, um, I wanted to look at a few things. I wanted to say, how low does the supply have to go to make it a million a piece based on what we have right now? So I told you it would have to go 540 times. So I divide that into the current supply and to get the supply down to 220,000 will get us there. So once the supply is down to 220,000 based on the current price, if you had one today at eighteen hundred and forty or eighteen hundred and fifty, it would be worth a million dollars if the supply got down to two hundred and twenty thousand three hundred. Now I know what you're saying, Mo. Holy cow, that's yeah. Well, they break those pieces. Obviously, break those pieces into smaller pieces, just like Bitcoin and everything else. So, is it possible that we could get to a million dollars a piece? based on the supply dropping, but keeping the same demand that we have today and burning, burning, burning with the gas and everything else. Absolutely. All right. It's absolutely possible. And so then I looked in here, how many we get rid of here? Well, we have 119 million. We subtract out how many we'd have to have to get to that million. And you see, we have to burn this. And so I told you, we burn 2 million a day or 2 million a year in 59 years. You're there. So is it possible, is it, not, I wanted to have some fun today and just talk about, it. is it possible we could get to a million dollars a piece in Ethereum because of this deflationary asset? You tell me what you think. If we continue to burn, folks, to me, it's simple math. If you continue to take away from the supply, demand stays the same and you keep shrinking the overall supply, eventually, you're going to run out of supply and the price per unit that everybody's still demanding goes higher and higher and higher. Man alive. And don't even talk about the inflation 
of fiat currency. That continues to go through the roof and you got this solid value for Ethereum, it could happen. It could happen in this century. It could happen that you see Ethereum sometime in the 22nd century here that we hit over a million dollars a piece, depending on this deflationary, if it can continue to grow utility, if people believe in it and it stays deflationary, you could see Ethereum get to be over a million dollars a piece. Folks, if you're burning a million, I'd say two million a year, and you have 119 million or 120 we started at, and we get down 50 years from now, burning two million a year, simple math, 120 minus 100 million, we could be down to 20 million. And then if we continue to burn at that rate and it continues just to be how it is, I think personally, Ethereum has a chance to blow up even more. The utility of Ethereum could just explode. We talked about the metaverse, the DeFi space, all these different areas that Ethereum could just take over. A lot of projects being built on that Ethereum blockchain. And what happens when we get to 100,000 transactions per second and this, this blockchain is going to be set up to dominate and everybody's using it and everything else and it really explodes in utility, then that could be a game changer. So... A little thought out there. Do, do you believe there's a chance that Ethereum, my, my normal prediction, I want everybody to understand, is Ethereum by the end of 2030, or by the end of 2025, my Ethereum price prediction, and why Ethereum is one of the best cryptos to buy now, in my opinion, will get up to 10 to 30,000 because of the deflation, the utility usage, the having of Bitcoin, the next bull cycle, all that good stuff, 10 to 30,000. But in the long term, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I, I may not be alive to even see it. Well, 60 years, I won't be alive. 50 years, I won't be alive. But my kids will. My grandkids will. And that's what I'm building for. So is this the kind of asset, the way they got it set up, to possibly do that? I think so. I'm not talking about these other altcoins out there. There is a possibility in 50 to 100 years that you could see Ethereum hit a million dollars a piece. So every one I buy, I think to myself, down the road, down the road, one of my great great grandkids are gonna love this and be like, "Oh, thank God for Grandpa Stock Mo out there taking care of us." Now we can go out and have a a, a Sunday or an ice cream or buy a Lamborghini. Of course, Lamborghinis by then won't be a hundred to two hundred thousand; they'll be millions. And but the good news is they'll have the Ethereum to help take care of it. And so when you ask, "How deflationary is it, Mo?" Uh, Ether's deflation rate hit a max around 1.5%. If the resurgence in the broader crypto and DeFi market can send uh, the burn rate back to its early 2022 highs, which I think it will, and that's what I'm banking on here. Remember, back up to where it should be. Ethereum's issue rate means Ethereum's deflation rate would hit a staggering, staggering 5.5%, my friends. Do you understand that it means it's burning 5.5% of all Ethereum? That means if we have 100 million it will burn 5.5 million dollars or 5.5 million Ethereum annually. That is just absolutely wild. That means that my numbers going out 50, 60 years would happen much quicker. Could happen in 20, 15 to 20 years, probably 20 to 30 years is what I'm thinking, depending on how everything goes. But if you're burning 5.5% of today's numbers, this thing gets ugly quick. And I don't mean ugly in a bad way. I mean, start scheduling for your own private island. We're all coming to visit because we are going to have our own islands around you. That's how good this could be. In my opinion, Ethereum is the place to go. They have it set up. They're continuing to do the right things. What do you think down below? Is there a chance we can get Ethereum to a million dollars a piece? Or are we just wishing and we'll be happy with 10,000 a piece? Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this video. We can do more on other cryptos as well if you're interested. Now, before you get out of here, make sure you support the channel. Hit the Patreon link down below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Come on over and join us, man. we got a great community. You can see what I'm buying and selling, the portfolios and the private Discord. And of course, I do have the, the YouTube community down there as well. Or And more importantly, get the free stocks from Weeble and Moomoo down below. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.